first time I've been in the crater at night time and you can see how otherworldly this is. It's a long way down, about 420 meters. This is our first night inside level zero and it is a sight to be seen. These walls are illuminated bright red. Our oxygen sensors have been going off the entire time. And right there, it's a very steep incline. Actually, get to pull back up this secondary zip line that we built. You can see all those little dots. That's people only at the halfway mark. This place is one of the most extreme places on earth, there's no doubt about it. I put my proximity suit on and walked over to the end. And you can see there's literally an ocean of fire. I had the thermal camera. temperatures so we thought we'd put it to the test <laughs> it was a really successful big jaunt down into the center of the earth and in a place like this it makes you appreciate what a speck you are in the universe and it makes you appreciate every single moment on this planet expedition is significant, but I genuinely believe that the benefit that stands to be gained by developing an early warning system for the 800 million people living around the world far outweighs that before. I'm just reveling in a little moment here. I'm on my way back up from level one. You can see uh, the rim of the 1965 Bob Lake that we're basing our operations out of to go down to down to level zero. It's uh, nighttime. You can see the top of the zip line here behind me. There's a lot of gas around tonight. Those are some big floodlights that we brought in here so we could actually operate in the evening hours. We decided to have gone down to level zero and identified some really fantastic rocks that we can use to mount our sensors to, which was the primary objective of today. I can be proud of the team that was put together to make it all happen. So Mike to Luke, be up at the top shortly. We're going to start a brand new day tomorrow.